You can use the callout tool to frame and highlight any certain part or several parts of your drawing and handle it as a separate drawing for uh, any sort of reasons. Like for example, you would like to add some sort of extra information that you did not want to represent on the original drawing. Now I will use this nearly finished 2D uh, section here and I would like to highlight this specific area. And for that, I will use the documentation callout and first I just make sure that I have the proper settings. Now when I click here, I can make sure that I'm using the proper layer, the colors, line type, line way, and drawing order. I can make sure that I have the callout sign enabled and I can uh, turn on or off the visibility uh, of this callout in print. Now I will just go with the default, so I hit OK, and then I have two options to create the callout shape. Uh, one is the polygonal and the other one is the rectangular. I'm going with the first one and I will just highlight or frame this area with the rectangle like this and then I place the symbol here. Now the software automatically uh, numbers these callouts. I created this first one here so this is why it's uh, callout number one. And uh, as you can clearly see, this is the area that I have highlighted, I framed with this callout. And then at the moment when I created it, there was a new drawing created with the name of my original drawing. This was called 2D section section. And I have a list of callouts with one single callout here, which is created from the section. So if I click here, I can see that there is this callout with the proper numbering. Now sometimes I realize that, okay, uh, the original frame uh, was a little bit too large. I did not want to include this part of the drawing. So then I can just select the callout itself and I can click on the corner and use offset to make it smaller. Now this just did not uh, shrink the content that is visible here in the separate callout drawing. But if I go back to the 2D section section drawing, I can see that the original callout, which generates this content uh, is all also automatically shrinked as uh, I expected. Now another um, example that I wanted to show you is that if you go back to the callout itself, the separate callout, just as I mentioned, you can add extra details, like for example, a text that represents the slope of this uh, cantilever here, for example, I'm just placing it here. Uh, and as I'm doing this on the separate copy, the separate callout itself, this is something that belongs only to the callout and it won't be represented on the original drawing. So let's see how that goes. I'm also adding a dimension, like a length dimension, a, a aligned length dimension of this cantilever. I'm adding it here and then now I have this content, but only on this callout and not on the original drawing. Now, on the other hand, if the original drawing changes, like for example, let me just do a very simple change here. I'm just simply changing the color of this hatching that I have here. Let me just change this to something dark bluish like this and I hit OK. I can go back to the callout uh, and I'm doing that now and I can click on refresh callout or, or update callout in the local menu or I can also go to the documentation callout and, and use the update callout command. Whichever I'm, I'm using, the software will, uh, again, look at the original content and update whatever have changed. Also, if I would like to, I can change the numbering here. Now, as you can see, number one is represented here and here, but uh, let's say um, uh, I, I would like to use a different numbering like 01 or something like that. I also would like to define a sheet number. Then I can do that. Let me just change that 01, enter, and then the software changed it here and it will also change it on the separate copy of the, of the callout, the separate drawing of the callout itself.